Hello, welcome back everybody. This is Lolly. I recently, uh, you know, I've been cleaning my craft room. It is a long process. And I recently decided that I need a tote or a caddy or something to be able to carry journaling supplies around because there are like three different places in the house that I would be doing journaling. And really not necessarily at my craft table because that's usually set up for whatever tutorial I'm working on. So I was going to bed having crafty dreams and I was thinking I could order something. I could, a caddy, I could go order online. I could go to the craft store and look at their uh, craft storage totes. I looked through my craft storage totes and nothing just really spoke to me. And then I remembered this clunky tool organizer that I had cleaned out. It used, you know, I use these for, actually I have one identical to this that I actually have tools in it, hammer and screwdrivers, etc. Well, in cleaning up my craft room, this was left over and I almost gave it away to like Goodwill and I realized I need to hang on to that for a while. And then I thought this could be the thing that I use. And yes, it's, it's kind of ugly um, and gray. Uh, what is this brand? Contico. Um, and there's even some spots here that I haven't been able to get off from the old label. But I decided just to go for it and to clean, you know, I cleaned it up, but I'm not going to spray paint it because it's going to take an awful lot to get in all these crevices, cover the gray. And even then, I have a, t even with Krylon, it would get scratched off pretty easily. So I decided to go ahead and just put some trim around here. And I'm just going to use some Gem Tech by Beacon, which is a permanent glue. And just kind of, I'm going to tuck this up under here. There's a lip there. I'm just going to tuck it up under like this as I go around. Go around. And I notice that this is a slight angle, but I don't think it's going to be problematic. But we shall see how this goes. And looking at this, I'm thinking I don't need to come all the way down. It is going to hang a little bit here. Let's move this up and see if that helps. I think I'm just going to focus on the top here and not worry about going all the way down. That's better. I like that better. It's working out a lot better for me. And they don't have to really worry about the corners so much. Oh, that works much better. Okay, let's let that dry. I'm going to roll this back over to the front. I did figure that this would be the front of the tote right there. Now I have these flowers. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them on here. I thought I might glue them on, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to lay them here and see what I think. Frankly, I, I like them, but I don't like them on this project because it just feels a little too glitzy for this plastic tote. But I do have some white, and I have some turquoise that kind of look, do look good in my craft room. Some off-white, and these that I got at a thrift store. Some more black. So let's see what I can come up with here. I'm just laying them on here to see what that looks like. I thought about maybe putting black... I think I like that. I, let's see what we got here. Let me see. Is that too big? Should I just stick with these? Let's go to the bigger one here. There's one. We could also intersperse the white in with the, the turquoise. Okay, so I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac to get those on there. And I actually think I might just put them in the, I don't know, kind of like them on the side as well. So let's not overthink. I'm putting that one a little lower down. 
There we go. And I did that at an angle on purpose, but I'm thinking I have these little glittery ones here too. They're kind of cute. There we go. Very cute. And I wonder if one of these might fit in there. That might get bumped around, but we'll see how well that hardens and firms up there. So that's what I have right now. Let me fix my coaster. That's what I have right now. I like the how it's offset. I like it all right there. I think that's really cute. And um, doesn't have to be doesn't have to be uh, in the center or anything. I'm just looking around, seeing if maybe I want a little bit. I do. One more. Right there. I hope these big chunky ones stay. If they don't, I will switch to another glue. But I really think that the Fabri-Tac is going to hold them. Very cute. So when that dries now, I'm going to put my journaling supplies in here. So this is dry. I'm really happy with it. And you can see, again, this is all scuffed up. It's not a really pretty thing, but I think that this really helped perk it up for me. So now I want to put some things in here. This journaling thing is, go is going to be for my Bible journaling, but this could be for any journaling. I don't usually put dyes in these sleeves, but because I know I want those with my journaling, they will be there. I will give you a, a video link down below to how I put my stamps in all of these cases here, these envelopes. It's a little one. I guess this is going to go there. I have some vellum I want to put in there. Uh, sticker books, more stickers. I, I just have several packs arranged according to brand. Stickers and rub-ons. I'm wondering if this would fit too. And these are my watercolor pencils. Oh yeah, fits great. I got them back in there. Let's see, I might be able to put this in there, the absorbent ground, which is the foundation I will put under, uh, under, under any watercolor I do. I've got a Xyron sticker maker. Oh, this is great. This, this is fabulous. Look, that's going to hold my rolls of stickers and my washi. Oh my goodness, I couldn't have planned this better if I'd have tried. That is a really fun find right there that those fit in there. Okay, I have a pair of scissors, one ink pad, glue stick. This is a vellum adhesive tape runner. Those are in my shop. I have some 1 8 inch um, red line tape. And I have, let's see, a watercolor brush, a white gel pen, two micron markers, a zig glue pen, and then this is the sponge I'm going to use on one of these for adding the absorbent ground so it adds a nice smooth layer so there we go that's it I am really happy at how well that turned out this is part of a set that I got from Tuesday morning fits down in there perfectly oh my gosh I'm so happy with this and how it turned out and now I can just grab this and carry it around to wherever I'm going to be journaling and I forgot one more thing. I have a little zipper pouch I bought from a friend. Isn't that beautiful? And I have some ephemera pieces in here. And I will put more ephemera in there as well. So again, fits in there beautifully. Just going to hang the tassel out over the side. Perfect. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this inspires you to even use what you have around the house or pick up a tool caddy instead of a craft caddy. A lot cheaper. You can do a lot of things with it. Don't forget to give this video a good thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will give you a link down below under the video in the video description spot with an entire playlist of my craft room and all my craft storage ideas.